so these are my disclosures, none of which are directly relevant to this. So this is uh, the Case Medical Center campus. Uh, and whether you're thinking of Cleveland or Boston or Houston or, or Miami and Weston in, in Florida, there are certainly areas of the US where there are plenty uh, of people with the right skills and right expertise uh, to look after you. But there are some other differences in the US. And we he I heard earlier that the BMI of the patient this afternoon is 17. And we don't often get to see a BMI of 17. And while people aren't always uh, the same BMI as this, we often operate on people with their BMIs in their 40s and their 50s. And I won't go into the other challenges uh, for rectal cancer, but you're all aware of those. So um, when we think of the USA versus elsewhere, uh, this is a paper that Knud Augustad did uh, when he was working with me a couple of years ago visiting from Norway. Uh, and we did a, an international survey uh, of about uh, 80 surgeons in the US and about 140 in the, uh, outside the US in Europe and Asia primarily. And you can see that interestingly there's a lot of similarity in the percentage of surgeons at least that we reached who are in academic practices uh, great similarity in those whose hospitals did more than 50 rectal cancers a year, uh, which many of us would not think of as that high volume, but nevertheless, that's, that's what's the case. And also, interestingly, fairly similar percentages doing open surgery, 25% in the U.S., 40% outside the U.S., but the laparoscopic cases in the U.S. being broken down into straight and hand-assisted surgery. Uh, and I think it gets at perhaps what Ronan alluded to earlier with variabilities in quality of life outcomes. Laparoscopy is not laparoscopy. It is not the same uh, done by all surgeons, whether it's a hand assist or a partial open or whatever else. And that probably impacts quality of life and other endpoints. The other issue is the volume that colorectal surgeons do, and if you just look at the red circle there, which is proctectomies uh, in the US, and you can see colorectal surgeons uh, do less than 30% of proctectomies done in the US. So it's not that some general surgeons aren't doing very high volume and doing it very well, uh, but the average general surgeon uh, does fewer than 10 colectomies a year, and that's not proctectomies, so only one or two at most proctectomies. So we really have uh, when you think of the geographic size of the U.S., which Steve mentioned, and the difficulty often of patients getting to hospitals, we often have difficulty of having enough colorectally trained surgeons. Uh, and whether you look just by volumes or whether you look at the procedures, uh, and this is a paper Rocco Ricciardi at Leahy did, uh, looking at the, the percentage of, of time a surgeon will do a restorative procedure, that has significant impact and significant difference depending on training.